many people have been asking for a tutorial to sew homemade surgical masks for hospitals. The pattern in this video will show you how to make a standard pleated face mask with elastic ear loops. It also has a pocket in which you can insert additional filter material if that's something that you want to do. A printable version of this pattern is available on my blog post which I will link below. The first thing you'll want to do is fold your fabric rectangle right sides together and sew along the top edge. Leave a 2 inch opening in the center of this seam to create the opening for the inner pocket. Turn the fabric so the seam is centered in the middle of one side. If you want, you can press the seam open and stitch down the sides of the seam for a neater edge. Next, sandwich the elastic pieces between the two layers of fabric. Pin one end of the elastic to the top and the other end to the bottom the sides of the fabric rectangle. If you can't find elastic, you could also use four fabric ties. Each one will be about 18 inches long, and you'll sew one tie in each of the four corners. Be careful not to catch the ties or the elastic pieces in the side seams when you sew them. Sew the sides of the face mask. You can backstitch over the elastic or the fabric ties to secure them. Clip the corners of the mask with scissors and press it with an iron. Then turn the mask right side out. You can use a pencil to help you push out the corners. Now it's time to make the pleats. Mark the mask with three evenly spaced lines. Fold the fabric to create half inch pleats and use pins to hold them in place. Make sure all the pleats are facing the same direction. The last step is to sew down the sides, securing the pleats in place. I think it's important to note that these fabric masks are not as effective as the N95 masks and they're not a substitute for PPE. They're only meant to respond to some hospitals' requests for emergency backup masks. So before you take a lot of time making these, call your hospital to ensure that number one, they're accepting masks, and number two, anything you make is going to meet their individual guidelines.